This off-season, multiple veteran edge rushes have been linked to the Ravens after starting outside linebackers Matthew Juden and Yannick Nakoe departed in free agency. Another name now joins the fray as ESPN's Jeremy Fowler reports Cardinals linebacker Chandler Jones has requested a trade. Jones is among the NFL's best in creating pressure and sacks, ranking no. One in the category since entering the league 97.0 sacks and would be a big-time addition to an already strong defensive unit. PFF's Brad Spielberger and Austin Gale agree that the Ravens are a potential landing spot for Jones. If no solution can be agreed to, which seems unlikely given the importance of Jones to a team mired in the second-longest playoff drought in the NFL, there should be a long list of teams interested in a trade, Spielberger and Gale wrote. The Buffalo Bills and Baltimore Ravens immediately come to mind even after using first-round selections on edge defenders. Both clubs are entering the final rookie contract year for their respective franchise quarterbacks in Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson and could solidify Super Bowl-caliber rosters with a splash for Jones. This potential addition doesn't come without question marks as Jones is coming off a season-ending biceps injury in Week 5 of the 2020 season and is 31 years old. Jones is also due $15.5 million in base salary and in the final year of his contract with the Cardinals. According to OvethCap.com, the Ravens possess less than $9 million in cap space, meaning general manager Eric DaCosta and the front office would need to make financial moves to acquire Jones in a trade. As for what the Cardinals may want in return, Spielberger and Gale don't see it as being unreasonable, citing the Ravens' trade for Narcoe last year as a reference point. A second-round pick would most likely be the top draft pick Arizona could recoup in a Jones trade because of his age and the fact he'd be looking for a new contract wherever he ends up, Spielberger and Gale wrote. If Jones shows a willingness to play elsewhere without a new deal, an acquiring team may take the gamble of bringing him aboard for just one year with the hopes of earning a third-round compensatory draft pick following the 2021 season. The Ravens adopted this approach in 2020 with their mid-season acquisition of edge defender Yannick Nakoe, sending a 2021 third-round and 2022 fifth-round pick to the Vikings. Narco's free agent contract with the Raiders subsequently awarded the Ravens a fourth-round compensatory pick in 2022. Marlon Humphrey and Lamar Jackson seem to be fans of the idea. While PFF expects the Ravens to call if Jones becomes available, Russell Street reports Tony Lombardi believes there's no need to be concerned regarding the Ravens' pass rush, or add a designated sack artist. To address those respective losses, Juden, Nakoe, the Ravens resigned Tyus Bowser and drafted edge defenders Odafe Owa and Dalen Hayes, Lombardi wrote.